So we've got people running towards the door, and the first part of the problem asks us for the average rate at which the layer of the people at the door is increasing. This is kind of an unusual problem, because normally with problems related to speed, normally we're looking for the speed of a moving projectile, or a moving object. But in this case, we're using speed in the sense of at the rate at which a layer of like depth is increasing, which is a little unusual and might throw some people off. But ultimately, the same formulas and the same principles will apply. That said, there are a lot of different variables and different things to keep track of in this problem, so it is a little bit complex and a little potentially confusing. First off, the problem tells us a variable v sub s, and the problem tells us that v sub s is the speed at which people are moving toward the door. So using our typical speed formula, we know that this is the speed at which a person can travel the distance l to the door. So v sub s is equal to l divided by whatever the amount of time it is that it takes for someone to reach that door. The problem actually gives us both the value for l and the value for v sub s. So really delta t is the only thing in this formula missing. So doing some basic algebra on this, we can see that delta t is equal to l divided by v sub s. That said, part A of the problem is actually asking for the rate at which the layer of people is increasing. So I'll call that rate R. And another way to think about what the problem is actually asking for is that it's asking for the speed at which a person's depth, which is d defined in the problem as the variable lowercase d, it's the speed at which this distance of d, this depth of d, is being added to the door over some time interval. And this time interval, delta t, is the same time interval as the one we just discussed a moment ago. Because in both cases, the time intervals represent the amount of time it takes for a person to reach the door. We're just using different distances, like different types of measuring the depth to represent that. But the point is, both delta t's have the same value, so we can substitute the one we found first in for our rate equation. So that's d divided by l over v sub s, or more simply, bringing the v sub s into the numerator, d v sub s divided by l. So we can find the rate at which people are reaching the door, or the rate at which the depth is increasing, by plugging in the values that were given in the problem. The depth of one person is 0.25 meters. The speed at which the people are moving is 3.5 meters per second. And the value for L, the distance between them, is 1.75 meters. If we put this into a calculator, we find a rate of 0.5 meters per second. So this means that the depth of people at the door is increasing at a speed of 0.5 meters per second. Part B of the problem asks us to find how much time it takes before the total depth of people at the door reaches a depth of, I'm going to call this capital D, of 5 meters. So we've already found the rate at which that depth is increasing. It can be represented by the formula rate equals the changing depth divided by the time interval. But now we know what the rate is, and we're given a specific depth, and we want to find the time for that. So instead, a rate equation is going to be capital D divided by some specific time interval that we're trying to find. So because we're looking to find T now, let's algebraically rewrite the equation to solve for T. So it's going to be big D divided by that rate. And we know the big D, we know the depth, 5 meters, and we know the rate from part A as 0.5 meters per second. So put this into a calculator, and we find a time interval of 10 seconds. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best I can. That's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.